Here opens the court of their majesties, Hirsch and Magdalena. Welcome, everybody. It's good to see you. Thank you, Master Galen, for all of the work and preparation you've put into this evening, the changes in kingdom law, and in particular for rolling them up in a way that, you know, uh, avoids us having to do this in multiple phases and in as concise of a reading as possible. We very much appreciate it. Your Ladyship Zanita, thank you for uh, arranging heralds to read this. We appreciate everybody's work this evening. And having said all that, I think we're going to let this get started. So, thank you. All right. Please proceed. All right. Summary of law changes to be read into court. Reference number updates. All reference numbers pertaining to an article or section of kingdom law have been updated to follow a uniform numbering system. All sections without numbers have been given numbers. The new system shall be article number dot section number, i.e. 6.400. Grammar, kerning, spelling corrections. Several cr changes to kingdom law have been made to correct issues with spelling, kerning, and grammar, where the changes in grammar do not represent a change to the function of the law. A complete listing has been published for the convenience of the populace. Reference wording updates. A number of changes have taken place to update the reference words used for members of the royal household, members of the nobility, and other persons within the Kingdom of Kalantir. These changes are to make the language used more inclusive and to bring these reference words more in line with those already used in the governing documents of the SCA. Specific reference word changes are as follows. Article 1.100. Consort has been changed to read sovereign consort. Sovereign's heir has been changed to read royal heir. Consort's heir has been changed to read heir consort. Article 1.300. King and Queen and the Crown Prince and Crown Princess have been changed to read Sovereign and Sovereign's Consort, Crown, and the Royal Heir and Heir Consort, Crown's Heirs. Article 2.100. Sovereign's Consort has been changed to read Sovereign Consort. Article 2.200. King or the Queen has been changed to read Sovereign or the sovereign consort. Article 2.300, king nor queen has been changed to read sovereign nor the sovereign consort. Article 3.200, king and queen has been changed to read sovereign and sovereign consort. Article 3.300, king and queen has been changed to read crown, king or queen has been changed to read sovereign or the sovereign consort. Article 3.302, King and Queen have been changed to read, Crown has. Article 3.401, Consorts has been changed to read, Sovereign Consorts. Article 3.402, King and Queen has been changed to read, Sovereign and the Sovereign Consort. Article 3.600, King and Queen have has been changed to read, Crown. Article 4.100, if the crown prince or princess has been changed to read if either of the crown's heirs. Article 4.200, crown prince and princess has been changed to read crown's heirs. Article 4.300, crown prince and or princess has been changed to read crown's heirs. Article 5.100, King or Queen has been changed to read Sovereign or the Sovereign's Consort, Sovereign Consort. Crown Prince and Princess has been changed to read Crown's Heirs. Article 5.200, King and Queen has been changed to read Sovereign and the Sovereign Consort. Crown Prince and Princess has been changed to read Crown's Heirs. Article 5.201, Crown Prince and Princess has been changed to read Crown's heirs. Article 5.300.
King and Queen has been changed to read Sovereign and the Sovereign Consort. Crown Prince and Princess has been changed to Heirs. Article 5.304, King and Queen has been changed to read Sovereign and the Sovereign Consort. Article 5.400, Crown Prince or Princess has been changed to read Royal Heir or Heir Consort. His or her has been changed to read their. He or she has been changed to read they. Article 5.401. Crown Prince and Princess has been changed to read Crown's heirs. King and Queen has been changed to read Crown. Article 6.200. He or she have has been changed to read they have in the preceding 12 months. Article 6.201, King, Queen, Crown Prince, or Crown Princess has been changed to read Sovereign, Sovereign Consort, Royal Heir, or Heir Consort. Article 6.203, His or Her has been changed to read There. Article 6.301, Crown Prince, Princess, has been changed to read the crown's heirs. King and queen has been changed to read the crown. Article 6.311, his, her, has been changed to read their. Article 7.100, king, queen, crown prince, or crown princess, has been changed to read sovereign, sovereign consort, royal heir, or heir consort. Article 8.801, Coronet has been changed to read Crown's heirs. Article 12.200, henceforth divine, defined as a baron and or baroness, has been changed to read baronial coronet. Article 12.300, barons and baronesses, has been changed to read baronage. Baron, baroness, has been changed to read baronage. Coronet has been changed to read baronial coronet. Article 12.400, both entitled baron and entitled baroness has been changed to read multiple entitled baronial coronets. Coronet has been changed to read baronial coronet. Article 12.500, barons and baronesses has been changed to read baronage. Article 13.100, dukes, duchesses, counts, countesses, viscounts, viscountesses has been changed to read duchies, counties, viscounties. Article 19.400, autocrat has been changed to read event steward. A1.100, king and the queen has been changed to read sovereign and the so has been changed to read Sovereign and Sovereign Consort Crown. Crown Prince and the Crown Princess has been changed to read Royal Heir and Heir Consort, Crown's Heirs. Dukes and Duchesses has been changed to read Duchies. Counts and Countesses has been changed to read Counties. Viscounts and Viscountesses has been changed to read Viscounties. Barons and Baronesses has been changed to read Baronage. A1-100, King and Queen has been changed to read Sovereign and Sovereign Consort Crown. Crown Prince and the Crown Princess has been changed to read Royal Heir and Heir Consort Crown's Heirs. Dukes and Duchesses has been changed to read Duchies. Counts and Countesses has been changed to read Counties. Viscounts and Viscountesses have been changed to read Viscounties. Territorial Princes and Princesses have been changed to read Stellar Coronet. King or Queen's last name has been changed to read Crown's names. A3.101 Sovereign's Consort has been changed to read Sovereign Consort. The Crown Prince and Princess have been changed to read the Royal Heir and Heir Consort. Dukes and Duchesses have been changed to read Duchies. Counts and Countesses have been changed to read Counties. 
Viscounts and Viscountesses have been changed to read Viscounties. Several changes of a substantive, substantive, substantive nature have been made to kingdom law. These changes will be read in their entirety in accordance to the gravity of the changes in question. A topical heading has been given to each so that the type of and or reason for the change may be noted by the populace. The following changes pertain to the timing of and baronial rotation for crown tournament and coronation. Article 6.101 original. Until May 2006, 16, the crown list for the Kingdom of Kalantir will be held the last weekend of March and the second weekend of October, except for unusual circumstances defined by the crown. After May 2016, the crown list for the Kingdom of Kalantir will be held the second weekend of April and the second weekend of October, except for unusual circumstances defined by crown. Revised. The crown list for the Kingdom of Kalantir will be held the first full weekend of June and the first full week end of December. <laughs> Excuse me. On the first full weekend of December, except for unusual circumstances defined by crown. Article 6.500, original. The coronation for the Kingdom of Kalantir will be held the second weekend of January and the second weekend of July except for unusual circumstances defined by crown. The court revised is the coronation for the Kingdom of Kalantir will be the first full weekend of April and the first full weekend of October, except for unusual circumstances defined by the crown. Article 6.401 original, a rotation cycle shall be established to each to assign each barony within the kingdom the responsibility of finding a site for crown tournament should no other branch bid for this royal event. The rotation cycle shall be as follows, beginning with the responsibility for AS. <laughs> I'm sorry. Beginning with responsibility for AS 34, 1999 Fall Crown Tournament. Baronage of Cordonwy. Baronage of Forgotten Sea, Baronage of Magmore, Barony of Magmore, Barony of Three Rivers, Barony of Lonely Tower, Barony of Batavia. And Brigida needs to be unmuted. Thank you. All right. Revised. A rotation cycle shall be established to assign each barony within the kingdom, the responsibility of finding a site for crown tournament should be no, should no other branch bid for this royal event. The rotation shall be maintained by the kingdom wreath and any changes required to the rotation will be approved by the crown. Article 6.501, original. A rotation cycle shall be established to assign each barony within the kingdom the responsibility of fighting a site for coronation should no other branch bid for this royal event. The rotation cycle shall be as follows, beginning with responsibility for the AS 39 2004 fall coronation. Barony of Lonely Tower, Barony of Batavia, Barony of Cordon Wee, Barony of Forgotten Sea, Barony of Magmore, Barony of Three Rivers. Revised. A rotation cycle shall be established to assign each barony within the kingdom the responsibility of finding a site for coronation should no other branch bid for this royal event. The rotation shall be maintained by the kingdom reef and any changes required to the rotation shall, will be approved by the crown. The following are additional changes made to the royal calendar. Article 18-100, new royal event, original. Royal events are events that are set by crown and kingdom law. No other events may be held to conflict with them. These events are crown tournaments, coronations, Calentir Lily's War, Queen's Prize, Kingdom Arts and Sciences, King's Company of Archers Tournament, and Calencon. Revised. 
18.100. Royal events are events that are set by crown and kingdom law. No other events may be held to conflict with them. These events are crown tournament, coronations, Calentir Lily's War, Queen's Prize, Kingdom Arts and Sciences, King's Company of Archers Tournament, Masters of the Duel, and Calencon. Article 18-400, Calendar Change. Original, 18400. Kingdom Arts and Sciences is established as a royal event. Said event shall be held annually on the third weekend of July, except for unusual circumstances as divine, defined by the Crown. Revised. Kingdom Arts and Sciences is established as a royal event. Said events shall be held annually, except for unusual circumstances as defined by the Crown. Article 18.600, New Royal Event. 18.600, Masters of the Duel is established as a royal event. Said event shall be held annually, except for unusual circumstances as defined by the Crown. Article 18.700, Formerly 18-600, calendar change. Original, 18-600. Calencon is established as a royal event. Said event will be held annually on the last Saturday of June. Excuse me, the last Saturday in June. Revised, 18-700. Calencon is established as a royal event. Said event shall be held annually except for unusual circumstances as defined by the Crown. The following change is made to remove a redundancy within the Calentir Kingdom Law. Article 8.410, removed as redundant, C 8.403. 8.410, the Kingdom Seneschal shall be responsible for the appointment, direction, and removal of the media relations representative of the Kingdom. The following changes were required to bring Calendar Kingdom Law into compliance with SCA corporate policy. Article 6, 6.309, original, 6.30, excuse me, I'll go back again. Article 6.307, original, 6.307, each combatant and prospective consort must have attained the age of 18. Revised, 6.307, each combatant and prospective consort must have attained the age of 19. Article 8.100, original. The officers of the Kingdom of Kalantir are as follows in order of ancient seniority of creation. Great officers and their deputies, Seneschal, Chatelaine, Reeve, Minister of Youth, Media Relations Representative, Waiver Secretary, Park Liaison, Minister of Social Media and Electronic Communications. Gold Falcon Herald, Kingdom Historian. Earl Marshall, Archer General, Minister of the Lists, Equestrian Mar Officer, Cut and Thrust Marshal. Minister of Arts and Sciences, Kingdom Arts and Sciences Competition Scheduler, Master Scheduler. Falcon Signet, Marshal Studies Deputy, Treasurer, Regalia Coordinator, Keeper of the Kingdom Trailer, Chronicler Web Minister, Revised. The officers of the Kingdom of Kalantir are as follows in order of ancient seniority of creation. Great officers and their deputies, Seneschal, Chatelaine Castellan, Reeve, Minister of Youth, Media Relations Representative, Waiver Secretary, Park Liaison, Minister of Social Media and Electronic Communications, Kingdom Advocate, Gold Falcon Herald, Kingdom Historian, Earl Marshall, Archer General, Minister of the Lists, Equestrian Officer, Cut and Thrust Marshal, Minister of Arts and Sciences, Kingdom Arts and Sciences Competition Scheduler, Master Scheduler, Falcon Signet, Marshall Studies Deputy, Treasurer, Regalia Coordinator, Keeper of the Kingdom Trailer, 
Chronicler Web Minister. Article 8.403, original. 8.403, the Kingdom Seneschal shall be responsible for the appointment, direction, and removal of the Kingdom Ca Chatelaine Castellan Reeve, Minister of Youth, Media Relations Representative, Waiver Secretary, Park Liaison, and Minister of Social Media and Electronic Communications. Revised, 8.403. The Kingdom Seneschal shall be responsible for the appointment, direction, and removal of the Kingdom Advocates, Chatelaine Castellan, Reeve, Minister of Youth, Media Relations Representative, Waiver Secretary, Park Liaison, and Minister of Social Media and Electronic Communications. New Article 8.415 replaces 9-100. 8.415, the Advocate Office shall consist of three individuals chosen to reflect the, diver the diverse population of the kingdom and be responsible for representing the interests of those members of the populace who have questions or complaints. The Advocates shall be a source of information and advice for dealing with such complaints or general questions. The Advocates will work with populace members, royalty, and kingdom officers to bring resolution to issues as needed. The advocates shall be appointed by the kingdom seneschal with a three-year term ex or a three-year expected term of office, replacing one member each year. A member of the advocate office may be removed or replaced as the kingdom seneschal deems necessary or as circumstances require. Article nine, original. Article nine. The royal appointments of the Kingdom of Kalantir are as follows. Advocate, Royal Nomenclature, Chancellor of Rush, Lily's Committee Chair, War Council. Revised, see new 9.100. Article 9-100, removed, replaced by 8.415. Original, 9-100. The Advocate Office shall consist of three individuals chosen to reflect the diverse population of the kingdom and be responsible for representing the interests of those members of the populace who have questions or complaints. The Advocates shall be a source of information and advice for dealing with such complaints or general question. The Advocates will work with populace members, royalty, and kingdom officers to bring resolution to issues as needed. The advocates shall be appointed directly by the crown with a, th a three year expectant term of office, replacing one year, one member each year. A member of the advocate office may be removed or replaced as the crown deems necessary or as circumstances require. Revised C8.415. New Article 9.100. 9.100. Nine the royal appointments of the Kingdom of Kalantir are as follows. Royal Nomenclature, Chancellor of Rush, Lily's Committee Chair, War Council. Article 9-200, original. Article 9-200. The first level of formal complaint and reconciliation within the Kingdom of Kalantir shall be the Court of Inquiry. A Court of Inquiry will be used when a complaint has been made that, the, that cannot be resolved by the existing offices within the Kingdom. Upon receiving a complaint, the Advocate Office shall determine who among them will conduct the inquiry and communicate with the Kingdom Seneschal, Crown, and Complainant as to how the Advocate Office will proceed within a reasonable length of time from receipt of the complaint. When conducting interviews, at least two members of the Kingdom Advocate Office or one Advocate and at least one Rattan member shall meet with all parties named in the complaint and discuss the complaint or issue at hand. In the case of sensitive allegations about alleged victims, it will not be required for the victims to face the alleged perpetrator. Interviews and meetings can be conducted separately by the Advocate Office. One or more of the Advocates will act as secretary and take notes on the proceedings, a copy of which shall be provided to the interviewee. Written accounts and statements from the parties shall also be collected. These notes, statements, and any decisions shall be put in a report and copies provided to the Kingdom Seneschal and Crown. If an understanding has been reached and all parties are satisfied, the matter will be considered closed. If an understanding cannot be reached, the Advocate Office must notify the Kingdom Seneschal and Crown. At that time, a decision may be made to elevate the issue to a court of arbitration.
arbitration or in, or in extreme cases directly to a court of chivalry. If credible, substantive allegations are revealed during the court of inquiry. The advocate office must report the facts of the matter to the Crown and Kingdom Seneschal who may choose to proceed with sanctions per corpora, thereby foregoing escalations in the courts of Palantir. All reports shall be kept by the advocate office in paper or digital form. Revised. Nine, uh, sorry, uh, 14.200, Court of Inquiry. The first level of for formal complaint and reconciliation within the Kingdom of Palantir shall be the Court of Inquiry. The Court of Inquiry will be used when a complaint has been made that cannot be resolved by the existing offices within the Kingdom. Upon receiving a complaint, the Advocate Office shall notify the Kingdom Seneschal. The Kingdom Seneschal and advocates will work together to determine who will conduct the inquiry. The individual conducting the inquiry will communicate with the Kingdom Seneschal, Crown, and complainant as to how the inquiry will proceed within a reasonable length of time from receipt of the complaint. When conducting interviews, at least two members of the Kingdom Advocate Office or one advocate and the Kingdom Seneschal shall meet with all parties named in the complaint and discuss the complaint or issue at hand. In the case of sensitive allegations involving alleged victims, it will not be required for the victims to face the alleged perpetrator. Interviews and meetings can be conducted separately by the Kingdom Seneschal or the Advocate Office. One or more of the advocates will act as secretary and take notes on the proceedings, a copy of which shall be provided to the interviewee. Written accounts and statements from the parties shall also be collected. These notes, statements, and any decisions shall be put in a report and copies provided to the Kingdom Seneschal. If an understanding has been reached and all parties are satisfied, the matter shall, will be considered closed. If an understanding cannot be reached, the Advocate Office must notify the Kingdom Seneschal and Crown. At that time, a decision may be made to elevate the issue to a court of arbitration or in extreme cases directly to a court of chivalry. If allegations are revealed during the court of inquiry, which are believed by the Kingdom Seneschal and the Crown to be credible and, and substantive, they may choose to proceed with sanctions per corpora, there, thereby foregoing an escalation in the courts of Palantir. All the reports shall be kept by the Advocate Office in paper or digital form. Article 14.300, original. 14-300. The second level of formal complaint and reconciliation within the Kingdom of Palantir shall be the Court of Arbitration. The Court of Arbitration is intended to provide an opportunity for fair arbitration between antagonistic parties. A request for a Court of Arbitration must be made in writing by the Advocate Office or complaint, complainant uh, specifying the reasons for the request. After the previous mechanisms for reconciliation have been used and proven unsatisfactory to one or more of the anti antagonistic parties. After receiving such a request, the Advocate Office shall inform the Crown of the need to convene a Court of Arbitration. Revised, 14.300, Court of Arbitration. The second level of formal complaint and reconciliation within the Kingdom of Kalantir shall be the Court of Arbitration. The Court of Arbitration is intended to provide an opportunity for fair arbitration between antagonistic parties. A request for a Court of Arbitration must be made in writing by the Advocate Office or complainant specifying the reasons for the request after the previous mechanisms for reconciliation have been used and proven unsatisfactory to one or more of the antagonistic parties. After receiving such a request, the Advocate Office shall inform the Kingdom Seneschal and the Crown of the need to convene a Court of Arbitration. Article 14.301, Original 14-301. The Advocate Office shall establish a date for the Court of Arbitration after consultation with the Crown. The Court may only be convened within the Kingdom of Palantir at an official event published in the Kingdom Newsletter. The Advocate Office shall notify the antagonistic parties of the convening of the court in writing by return receipt re requested mail a minimum of 10 days prior to the date of, the, of convening of the court. Any of the, of the antagonistic parties may appeal the scheduled date directly to the Crown. Failure of an antagonistic party to appear after such proper notification has been made may be considered by the judge or panel of judges to be a plea of no contest to the complaint specified. If this occurs, the judge or panel of judges may proceed with the decision in the matter. Revised 14.301. The Advocate Office shall establish a date for the Court of Arbitration after consultation with the Crown and Kingdom Seneschal. The Court may only be convened within the Kingdom of Palantir at an official event published in the Kingdom Newsletter. The Advocate Office shall notify the antagonistic parties at the convening of the Court in writing 
by return receipt requested mail or official email with read receipt, a minimum of 10 days prior to the date of the convening of the court. Any of the antagonistic parties may appeal the scheduled date directly to the Crown. Failure of an antagonistic party to appear after such proper notification has been made may be considered by the judge or panel of judges to be a plea of no contest to the complaints specified. If this occurs, the judge or panel of judges may proceed with the decision in the matter. Article 14.303, original. 14-303, the advocate office shall act as assistance to the court. The judge or panel of judges may select other, such other advisors or assistants as appropriate. It is expected that the court shall be convened for only a short period of time. To this end, the antagonistic parties shall be asked at the outset of the court if they can agree, in part or in whole, to a list of stipulated facts in the matter as prepared by the advocate office. Revised. 14.303. The Kingdom Seneschal and the advocate office shall act as assistants to the court. The judge or panel of judges may select such other advisors or assistants as appropriate. It is expected that the court shall be convened for only a short period of time. To this end, the antagonistic parties shall be asked at the outset of the court if they can agree, in part or in whole, to a list of stipulated facts in the matter as prepared by the advocate office. Article 14.304, original. 14-304. The advocate office shall appoint a scribe who shall keep an official record of the court's proceedings and decisions. Copies of this, this official re record shall be provided in a timely fashion to the antagonistic parties, the judge or panel of judges, and the Crown. This official record shall be kept by the Advocate Office as archival material. Each antagonist has the right to file a formal written response to the decision by the court or the Advocate Office, such, as, such a response then becoming a part of the archival material. Said archival materials may be made available to other parties as deemed necessary and appropriate by the Advocate Office in conjunction with the Kingdom Seneschal. Revised 14.304. The Advocate Office shall appoint a scribe who shall keep an official record of the court's proceedings and decisions. Copies of this official record shall be provided in a timely fashion to the antagonistic parties, the judge or panel of judges, the Kingdom of Seneschal, and the Crown. This official record shall be kept by the Advocate Office as archival material. Each antagonist has the right to file a formal written response to the, to the decision by the court with the Advocate Office, such a response then becoming a part of the archival material. Said archival materials may be made available to other parties as deemed necessary and appropriate by the Advocate Office in conjunction with the Kingdom Seneschal. The following changes slash additions have been made to facilitate organization at Crown, Tourney, Crown Tournament. Appendix uh, 1. Appendix 1. The Order of Precedence of the Kingdom of Kalantir. Revised. Appendix 1. The Order of Precedence and the Order of March of the Kingdom of Kalantir. Appendix 1.200 or A1.200. The Order of March. New section. The order of march determines how a procession would march in precedence order towards the crown. A gentle's place in the march is determined by their highest rank and the date that rank was received. The gentle with the highest rank enters before those of lower rank. If two gentles have the same rank, the one that has held the rank longer enters first. For visiting crowns, crown heirs, stellar coronets, coronets heirs, and territorial baronages, the date of the group's elevation is used. 1. Visiting crowns. 2. Palantir Crown's heirs. Three, Visiting Crown's heirs. Four, Visiting Stellar Crown's and their heirs. Five, Duchies. Six, Counties. Seven, Viscounties. Eight, Bestowed Peers or Patents of Arms. Nine, Palantir Territorial Baronages. Ten, Visiting Territorial Baronages. Eleven, Thanes of Palantir during the reign of the Bestowing Crowns. Twelve, Great Officers. 13. Palantir Grant of Arms Orders. 14. All other grants of rank, simple grants of arms, and all foreign awards and orders conferring grants of arms. 15. Court Baronages. 16. Palantir Awards of Arms Orders. 17. All other awards of arms, simple awards of arms, and all foreign awards and orders conferring awards of arms. 18. non armigerous Awards Bearing Precedence, Order of the Sword of Palantir, Order of the Keepers of the Flame, Order of the Queen's Chalice, 
Order of the Queen, uh, Order of the Falcon's Claw, Order of the Purple Feather, Order of the Purple Jess. A I or A one dot two o two new section. The order of march for use in crown tournament will default to the order of precedence by the highest precedence rank of the combatant or prospective consort. In the case of equally ranking awards granted on the same day, the tiebreaker is the next most senior award by date for the other member of the pair. Examples. Pair A's highest awards are a knighthood and a cross a calendar. Pair B's highest awards are a knighthood and a golden calend swan. The knighthoods were both elevated on the same day. In this case, the pair holding a cross a calendar would bear precedence. Thank you, Harold, for uh, getting through all of that. That was a lot of uh, text to read, um, but that was pared down from uh, 49 pages to 15, so that's a lot nicer. Um, the reason we did this all in uh, a virtual court setting uh, is because we didn't think that it was necessary to drag everybody through that in, at an event. Um, so thank you all for bearing with us. Uh, the recording of this will be made available on the Kingdom YouTube page um, once the court is concluded. Thank you. Thank you all very much. We charge you all to have 37 more minutes of fun at your next event. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Thank you to the Heralds who uh, read all that. We appreciate it very much. Um, and as need a good like two or three times. Um, so are we done? I think so. Harold, close Please the close court. court. Okay. Here closes the court of their majesties, Hirsch and Magdalena. Long live the king. Long live Long the king. <laughs> Long live the queen. Long live, Long the, live queen. the queen. Long live the prince and princess. Long live Long the, prince, live and the princess. prince and princess. Long live prince and princess. And Long live the sovereign lands of Kalantir. Kalantir! Kalantir.